it seems like people want to keep underground artists underground so they can have their little secret and feel like cooler than the next kid. And uh, yeah. to me, I'd rather just appreciate what grabs me and what doesn't. <sighs> I'm a rapper by the name of Sadistic. My real name is Cody. I'm from Seattle, Washington. And this is my son, Kubrick. The best thing is that I get to do what I love and am passionate about for a living, so it, it's pretty difficult to complain about it. Um, I'm able to express what I think is myself, and there are enough people that listen to it where I can survive off of it. Um, the negative side is it's really difficult, it takes a lot of work. Um, it's not something that is easy to force out sometimes. And uh, especially my music being so personal, I think um, putting myself out there is, is kind of filled with, uh, there's like an underlying theme of self-doubt that can come with it. Um, especially the more people that hear it, the more positivity that comes with it, but also the more negativity too, so. Um, it's just like a constant push and pull of confidence and insecurity, so. I'm still trapped in the middle school slow dance Stepping on toes in the mistletoe romance Missing throat, discomposed who holds hands with grief Kissing hope with no chance but me I'm just searching for some beautiful A dream that I can catch and a person who's unusual When I find her I try to face the tide Fight the hurricane and tide a wave I just make music that makes sense to me and, and challenges me and makes me feel like I'm getting whatever's inside my head outside of it um, and then kind of the ripple effect of that is sometimes some people who are into it causes them to think um, a lot of it's interesting reading people's uh, interpretations of my stuff a lot of times it isn't even what I intended and sometimes it's even more interesting than what I my original idea um, yeah I would say it's much more cathartic I, I don't I don't sit down aiming to try to make somebody think or I I feel like if I if I even worry about what somebody's gonna think about my music or this song or this line, it, it won't be it won't be as authentic. I am attracted to honesty in music. Um, something can be cleverly written or worded, and uh, it still doesn't have a sincerity to me. And I don't know how to really explain it. But um, right now, I'm listening to Radiohead's "Always My Go-To." Um, the new Cunning Linguist record is good. The newer Buck 65 is good. I always listen to Idea. Uh, my buddy Christoph Crane. I, don't know, I listen to a lot of stuff, but just anything that's usually attracted to pretty music and dark music, and when they mix the two, then I'm pretty predictable in liking that. <laughs> I get kind of tired of, of people that only like underground because it's underground and only dislike mainstream because it's mainstream. Like music's music, some of it's good, some of it's not, regardless of who likes it. I've, I've even had people at shows tell me like, um, I hope you never make it big, I hope you never blow up. As in like, if people listen to my music then all of a sudden it's gonna become bad and I don't, I don't really take that point of view. A lot of people describe my music as depressing or like hopeless sometimes and I, I don't personally think that, I try to like, hide positive tidbits here and there, but um, passion's just something I've always had and I haven't been able to hide it and I get uh, really opinionated and I don't know, it obviously just comes out of my music because that's what I do. I died once and I knew it was suitable, I died twice and I sang it like a musical, I died again when I thought that the news would hold everything I love on the search for some beautiful, I died once and I knew it was suitable, I died twice and I sang it like a musical, I died again when I thought that the news would hold everything I love on the search for some beautiful. I just want to keep building what I'm doing, I want to express myself honestly and have people enjoy it enough people where I can continue living off of this and uh, and, and feel like I'm expressing myself. Um, I guess that coincides with the same thing as a human. I'm just like everybody else. I just am trying to figure out the world around me and trying to figure out what's inside, what's inside me and interpret things and 
hopefully 10 years from now I'll be a little bit closer than I am now. Um, right now I'm staying really busy. Um, I have a record with Christoph Crane from Minneapolis who's one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. Um, I met him through our mutual friend Idea um, and I see a lot of ideas, um, I don't know, genius inside him at times and uh, we went on a European tour and a 60 day US tour back to back together and um, we're really good friends so we ended up uh, writing an entire record in the back of a van and then getting back to Seattle and recording the whole thing in three days. Um, pretty much drunk the whole time and uh, it's all on Graham O'Brien's beats, all live instruments, live drums, like it's a very gritty, like different um, feel than my other records and I'm really excited about it. Uh, it's called Pray for Paralysis, it comes out November 22nd. Um, we just released a music video called Higher Brain that I wrote, produced and directed which was something I've always wanted to do because um, I'm such a film nerd. Um, and also I'm working on the album with Emancipator, it's about halfway done. I'm working on a solo album which has production by Blue Sky Black Death, No From Kind of Linguist, um, some guest features I'm really excited about. Um, and that's a little over halfway done. And I'm writing a poetry book. Um, so I'm staying really busy, I'm trying to really branch out right now. So within this next year, I'd, if I'm not important yet, then I'm gonna bury myself somewhere. Someday, I'll form opinion in the stand up to God of all poor religion. Ropes across, is it quite a crossroad? The Bible's lines signify a ball code. Then I'll go put a rhyme to reason. Nietzsche said, God is dead.